All right, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. So I'm out here on a night hike going through the mountains of Northeast PA. I stopped so that I can set the camera up or at least my phone with the uh, not turns in the Tonto so that can give you guys a bit of a, a first person view on what it's like looking through the teeth. Now, in all the videos that you'll watch out there about it never looks as good on screen or through, through a camera as it does in person, it's absolutely true. Uh, this thing is phenomenal to the naked eye and it right now it's coming through a little bit uh, fuzzy so it's, it's definitely fuzzier than how it looks once it's adjusted to your eye and it's super clear and then uh, it's a lot brighter image as well as more of a bluish white tint than what you're seeing here which is going to be somewhat of a greenish, like an aqua color. So, out here hiking, wanted to, to get some footage. It's approximately 10, 10, 15 p.m. Uh, today, I believe it's March 19th. Uh, and it's a full moon tonight. Clouds are rolling through because there's still a storm coming in tomorrow. So, at, it's saying about 80% cloud coverage tonight, and right now, it's, uh, I would say more along the lines of 50%, and it comes and goes, so, let me go ahead and get behind the phone so I can show you a little bit around this area, it just got super bright because the clouds moved, and now the full moon is just above the tree line, and it's shining through, which I'll show you in a second, so, let me get behind the camera, and I'll talk, talk to you guys as I show you my current surroundings. Alright guys, so hopefully you'll hear me a lot better over the sound of the waterfall behind me, or, or rather the uh, reservoir behind me. Uh, it's got about a 50 to 70 foot drop off on the back side of it. I won't be able to show you because the catwalk is closed, but as you can see, it is extremely bright tonight. Um, let me get this focus for you. But this, like I was saying just before the sun, uh, the moon finally came out, you would think the damn sun came out through this thing. But uh, yeah, really, really nice. So I have to adjust it to give you a clean picture as I go through. So as you can see, it's so bright out right now that you're getting a little bit of flaring because of the sacrificial lens and RPO. Uh, optics but there we go so let me try to get this the adjustment for the focus is so far um, so fine that you just you know a couple millimeters and you pass everything so let me go ahead and show you this trail that I walk here so if you go down this way down about a quarter mile that's the start of the uh, the trail there as you can see there's a highway right there that's got to be about a good half to three quarters of a mile away and then beyond that are lights that are uh, to a town about I don't know maybe two miles if you come this way right up here keeps going all the way up to an old quarry and then all this back here is just mountainside and PA state game land so that goes for miles <clears throat> but just so I can show you how clear this thing can get um, I really wish that it would show you uh, the true color of the night vision as well as the true clarity but unfortunately you know uh, there's no way that I know that I can do that with my phone and honestly even with with uh, expensive cameras I don't know if I could do that but here we go right so this is a no trespassing sign that I'm about five feet from let me go ahead and 
and put that in focus and you can see just how clear that thing gets so yeah gen 3s are the way to go because of their how well they do in extreme low light over the photonis but truth be told this photonis gen 2 plus tube is uh, extremely extremely nice and quite frankly like to the naked eye if you look back there that just looks solid black and here you're getting all types of good footage it is again a bright night you can see clouds are coming back through moon is falling behind the clouds there and behind that tree line but really good quality definitely for the money again the, the, the this is a 2200 or 2254 bomb spec so pretty good tube and again in extreme low light situations which most likely is going to be indoor you're going to have some type of IR illuminator to help out <clears throat> or you know maybe a uh, IR laser so Speaking of laser, let me go ahead and mount this thing and I can show you what the Purst 4 looks like with this tube. So, stand by. Alright guys, so that's about 50, between 40 and 50 yards away. Let me go ahead and loosen up my sling and then I can show you. Here we go, ready? very bright. Let me see if I turn this camera this way up the hill there. So you're going to have some flaring right now because of how bright the moon is. So I'm going to put it dead on and then send the, the laser up that direction. And there you go. Overcoming all that washout. Back here. Across there, that's got to be 150 or so yards. There we go. Super bright. Really nice man. I gotta tell you, uh, I'm really impressed with both the first four by Zeneco and also the image intensifier inside this Nocturne Industries Tonto. Alright guys, so on the way back I realized that it was fuzzy to my eye and somewhere along the line when I was messing with it with everything I must have knocked the diopter adjustment out. So there we go. Nice and clear. You can see just how clear that gets. So I'm almost back to my car. But definitely wanted to uh, share this with you guys. Sorry for the shaking. But. All right, everybody, I'm here at a local park with the family, and it is a super bright night. As you can see, there's quite a bit of clouds breaking up here, and that's because we had a storm roll through uh, last night and most of the day. So you can see the moon is, it's a day after a full moon, so it is super bright. And now with the clear skies, Again, all the saturation here so <clears throat> you can see I'll step over here the cat followed us and he is a stray that we uh, adopted you see him 
but he followed us all the way to the park. Here's the kids, my wife back there. So, pretty cool stuff. Here goes the stars. Let's see if I can clean that up a bit. There we go. Tons of star coverage there. So, what I'll do is. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll pull this off and show you what it looks like to the camera here. But there you go. So we're we'll back there. That tree line's about 300 yards, maybe three thirty-ish. So let me grab my purse four and show you how that looks. So here we go. Ready. There's the purse for. Pretty good. But yeah, definitely like the clarity and quality that I'm getting out of this. So we got back here some tree line and then a couple buildings behind there there's really only like two lights on but it's just reflecting off of the aluminum siding but there it is this is the Photonis Echo 4G white phosphor let me go ahead and take this off the mount here and I'll show you what it looks like right now without night vision And that is darker than it looks. But once your eyes are adjusted, you can see quite a bit. But again, there we go. And this mount that I got off of Amazon is pretty cool. Works really well. Cheap too, 17 bucks, so. Worth it. But yeah, there we go. That's the uh, Nocturne Tonto, or the Nocturne Industries Tonto with the Photonis tube. 2254 FOM rating. Really nice.